dueling demonstrations on Michigan's Diag turned heated after some in the crowd clashed with police. This video shows police and demonstrators pushing and shoving during a rally to remember the lives lost since the war started in the Middle East. Good evening and thank you for joining us up here. It's Friday. Shana has the night off. Those altercations on U of M's campus come as the world marks one year since the Hamas attacks on Israel killed 1200 people and took 250 others hostage. The attacks have led to a devastating war in the region with Israel responding with a complete barrage across the Gaza Strip. Since the war started, at least 41,000 Palestinians have been killed. And today, people across Israel and the U.S. have been remembering the people who have lost their lives. At the University of Michigan, students gathered for both a memorial and vigil, remembering the victims of the October 7th attacks. There was also a separate pro-Palestinian protest, which police showed up to. CBS News Reports Heath Kalb is in Ann Arbor with the latest. It was a day that hit close to home for Jewish students on campus who created a memorial on the Diag to commemorate the victims, both dead and kidnapped, of the October 7th Hamas attacks on Israel. So it's a very emotional day, but it's nice to see all the students who contributed to this and are really getting a lot of meaning out of this experience and commemorating those who were murdered on October 7th. Other groups on this campus, um, you know, called October 7th a landmark victory. Uh, I think it's important to know that there are other people on campus that support Jewish students. The Jewish students stayed out all day at the Diag, eventually putting on a community vigil later in the evening. But there was another group of students just a few hundred feet away from the October 7th memorial with a different perspective on the Middle East, with these students creating a campus walkout at 3.30 in the afternoon, calling their action, quote, one year of genocide, one year of resistance. After 75 years of struggle against Zionist occupation, October 7th stands as a landmark victory for Palestine. After a few students spoke, the pro-Palestinian group marched throughout campus, and it was mostly peaceful until there was some tension sparked between the group and police when the students attempted to walk through the Diag where the other group was holding their memorial. I spoke to one student who was pepper sprayed after he said all he was doing was peacefully protesting. In our peaceful protest, the cops decide to enclose us, they decide to arrest some of our members, and they decide to use excessive force, including and not limited to pepper spray, body slamming, etc. Campus police say that one person was arrested and later released. The events from today, yet another example of just how much emotion is still felt from October 7th and the events since, and neither side plans to stop advocating and mourning anytime soon. For now, in Ann Arbor, I'm Heath Kalb, CBS News, Detroit.